What's going on guys? It's your boy, Captain Jack. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. We get out with the little young crew. We got Reese, Jason, and Matt. We're going out on the little McKee craft. Gonna slay some cobia. That's what we're shooting for. We'll honestly shoot whatever comes by. This video is brought to you by Red Rum International. It's all the gear I'm wearing now. Go ahead, check them out. High quality apparel. I will leave a discount code in the description below as well as their website. But we're gonna get after it. We're gonna slay it. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys out there on the water. Dude, awesome, I'm running the boat and the boys are on the coves, look at that. All right, so what you see is Reese's GoPro. We're at about 55 feet of water, a bull comes in with two Kobe on him. Reese made a really nice shot in that first one and his spear actually went through and hit the second. Matt drops down to put a shot in the second Kobe, but it, it tore off and he goes to put a shot in his first Kobe, but it didn't need it, so he was able to land the fish successfully. Nice, bro. Good shot. Gonna yeah. chuck him in? Dude, is there a shark? You wanna just chuck him in? Chuck him in. He's about to go now. You! Not bad. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Hold on, by your face again. All right, so run me through it. What happened? I got your. I'm gonna get your footage, but yeah. This is. I just swam down. I look up. I'm like, holy. Sh Chill bowl, two cobes, and they swam right up. All right, just pop it right through the neck. Right through the neck? Yep. Right on. Dude, good job. That was a good shot. That's what we're good. That's what we're here for. So hopefully, if we get one more of those, that's a, it's a good day. It's already a good day. One more of those, it'd be even a better day. So now, after driving, it's time for me to jump in the water. Load up my spear gun and we're in about 90 feet of water on some wreckage. Of course the bulls come in, there's a little sear right there. A lot of life came into the flashers and I figured that's a good time to drop. Sure enough, there's a cobia at the end of the flashers, but he's kind of small and we already have one in the box. I sort of opt out on shooting him. Just head to the surface, let the guys know he's a little bit too small and I'll let this guy grow up and be a little bit bigger for the next time. Now this is a really cool dive. It's a long one, but a very cool one. I don't shoot anything, but I go down. We're on a bunch of rubble in about 60 to 65 feet. I slowly descend down to the bottom. I'm kind of just turning my head, not making a ton of crazy commotion with my body. I'm almost acting as if I'm a piece of debris cruising down to the wreckage, hoping that an pelagic fish comes up to me. And there were a couple of yellow jacks off there in the distance but I kind of wanted to wait to see if anything bigger or better shows up. <laughs> so now I'm just down there, and the main thing that I'm trying to focus on is just being super relaxed. The more you do, the less time you have down there. So literally, if you were looking at me from the outside, all you would see is just my head moving around, looking around, and my body is just descending down to the debris at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> The cuda that comes up to me, there's a lot of bait fish, there's a lot of life and a lot of current, so this is a really good sign. And I look in this culvert and I see a gigantic loggerhead turtle. He's just chilling there, sleeping. I go in, I almost want to touch him, but I kind of refrain from doing so. I get a little close to his face and I start making a little bit of grunting noises and you can see him slowly <laughs> open his eyes. He's so adorable and kind of nice to see something different on a dive like this and you can see him kind of very gently open his eyes and I was like oh I don't want to make him move so I just got out of there saw a shark off in the distance some more of those yellow jacks and I just decided to head to the surface just enjoy a nice little dive like that That was a sick little dive. Even though I didn't shoot anything, there were a couple options. And then that sea turtle was sick. It was a big logger head and he was sleeping. I kind of went under there and made a couple grunts and he kind of slowly opened his eyes. Uh, I don't know if you could see it, but it's always fun doing dives like that, even if you don't kill something. 
But we're gonna do probably maybe one or two drifts. What do you guys think? Yeah. Five more? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get back in the water though. So I was hoping to get something for dinner. I made a blind drop on the same kind of wreckage. There was a CUDA that came into the flasher, so maybe something might be falling. And sure enough, something is cruising with the CUDAs. There's a permit at the tip of my gun there, and I follow this guy around for some solid time. I'm lining up, waiting for him to give me a shot, and I just stay patient. That's the main thing, stay patient. Fish will eventually give you the shot. I had to clear my ears again, because I kept getting deeper, and he finally gave me the broadside shot. Now, on my way up, my calves started cramping so I couldn't put a lot of pressure on this fish and luckily there weren't really that many sharks around I knew the buddy divers were right on the tail of the fish so we were able to get him and I wanted to make sure we got him before he got to any wreckage which is what we did and we landed the fish successfully what you got here we go, here we go. good eating size oh what's up it is super sharp, that this spear. Get <laughs> hurt you on my plate. The shininess. Kind of weird shadow. Fish number two. <laughs> yeah, I was in a dress. So that permit was sick. Uh, he was giving me the tail wag. I was following it for a while and I had plenty of breath. So I just waited, finally turned, shot him and then my calves cramped. Thank God Jason was there to kind of help me up and Matthew was there to put a second shot in the fish. Uh, so he easily landed. Luckily there were no sharks around, but there are sharks, I already saw some. But, uh, but yeah, another fish in the box, stoked. Here you go, Jason. Might have breathed some of that in. Such a nice little afternoon, only a few hours of diving, got some good fish, and I kind of want to do a little catch and cook uh, permit versus cobia, and kind of maybe do a little taste test with somebody and see if they can taste the difference. If you guys like this stuff, definitely think about subscribing so far, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys back at my place. Is it a toothpick? What is that? It's a spine. It's oh a, no, oh it's my a God, stingray. Is it a spine? Dude, it's a stingray spine. Yeah, that's no what way. it is. Yes. You know, you know why? They hang around the stingrays. Um, that's definitely Because they, they hang around the stingrays and the stingrays like shoot out like flounder and crabs and they go and get them. And sometimes I guess when they take off after them, the stingray will whip up and get them. That's Look crazy. at that. Oh, it has eggs too. What's going on everybody? So we're back in my house and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this permit and cobia. So. I chunked these suckers up into like two inch pieces. This is permit and this is cobia. I kind of did those open face. I'm gonna cook them on the grill. It is permit or cobia, sauteed jalapeno, pineapple, and they're wrapped in bacon. And then I also went ahead and threw the rest in here. This is permit, this is cobia. I kind of want to get a taste test and compare the two. I'm not gonna tell Devin which are which, but she's gonna go ahead and try them and she'll give you an honest opinion about them. Okay, so this stuff is looking good. Check it out. Woo! It can't be bad. The perfect spicy sweet combo. And uh, I'm interested to see the comparison between these two cooked the exact same way. Two different methods, one in foil and one just skewered on the grill. So stay tuned. And if you like this video, go in and give it that thumbs up. You! All right, got everything off the grill. Looking good. This is Jacobia, this is Permit. I'm gonna let Devin taste test it and see which one's her favorite. The pile. Good. All right, now round two. Yeah. Messy? Yeah. Which one do you like better? Number one or two? Number one, Cobia. Yeah. She chose Cobes. So I think I like that a little bit better too. I just tried some and I think it's because it holds together a little bit. It's a little more dense. Either one is really good. And I'm glad I got to try them and I got to show you guys kind of compare the two. If you have the choice, if you're lining up most likely between a Cobia and a Permit, go for the Cobia. 
it's a little more delicious. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. If you're new, think about subscribing. And also check out Red Rum International. Discount code is down below as well as their website. Check out their gear. They got some awesome stuff. And I will see you next week on another adventure. Later.